Hey guys, Sean T. Phillips with my brand new Dollar Tree Dollar DVD and Blu-ray hunting video. Yes, I have heard that the Dollar Tree now has out the new Dollar DVDs and Blu-rays. It seems like they're coming out now for the most part, like every month. It's, it, it, there was a period of time when it was kind of like every other month. For, lately, it seems like it's pretty much every single month they're getting in new stuff. So I've seen people making posts about it. I have not seen, though, anything really on what they have this time. I did call this location. This is the one location that is always, I found, the best one. They usually have the biggest selection of the movies. I might go to one other one as well, but like I said, I called this one a little while ago, and the woman was like, well, the section seems very filled. I'm not sure if they're new, and I think I called like two days before, and then the guy was like, we didn't put anything new out, so, and, it, he, and he acted like there wasn't much there. So, fingers crossed, hopefully it's new stuff and it's not like, you know, old leftover stuff from last month, which it might be. Like I said, I do not know, but we shall see. I know, I know is the woman said there was a lot of ones in there, but we'll see. Fingers cross hopefully hopefully there's some in there today though like I said hopefully they're new ones we'll see and right on the front you can see that it's the solar power uh, lights every time it's the solar power lights uh, it's, it usually is always the solar power lights first and then ends up being the blu-rays and DVDs I don't know why it's always like that but this location here though never puts the um, at least for the most part they never put the movies in the front but we'll see though this one though always puts the stuff back here and the one time, which was like amazing, was like I called at the exact right time and the guy like was like, oh, I'll just put all the movies out. So like he put all the boxes out. So like I actually went through every single one of the boxes and he put them against the wall back there. And it was kind of like amazing because I, like, I went through it before anybody else or anything. But yeah, it looks, you know, pretty filled up in here. So hopefully this is like new ones. This is how they've had it lately because it used to actually go from here all the way down to this way. So it's all movies this way, and then they need to switch it around, though. But we'll go through here, though, and see what they have. But let's take a look in here and see what they have. And the thing is, the way this is laid out like this, is it's not really any, like, way to do this without it getting all screwed up any more than this. I don't think there's any way to do that, any way around it. But we'll go through here and see. Uh, this is, like, some Quest Star one. I don't think I've... I think these, uh, this company I've seen put out like those things when it does like drone footage over like, you know, um, you know the uh, desert and stuff like that. There's a bunch of these big uh, Bear With Me, some Alan Thick movie here. Um, there's a lot of these Quest Star ones here. Split Infinity, another one. I think there are a lot of Hallmark movies. And Coco. Some of these ones I know I've seen before. I, I don't remember seeing all these Quest Star ones. The Toy Castle, Dance for Joy. That's like really strange. It's another, it's another Quest Star one, but really peculiar, like a ballet thing. Mission to the Moon. Let's see, hopefully there's some some decent stuff in here. It seems to be just a lot of Quest Star stuff. Out of the Dark, K9. Let's see, Back Fork. if there's anything horror related or anything like that because some of these ones I hope these are new ones you know what I mean I hope they're not like old ones that I didn't see before but it seems like there's a lot here so it's like Peter Rabbit a roof story I don't know though this time around what some of the newer ones were to like know for sure if anything these, these ones are actually new or not I don't, like I said, I don't remember a lot of these. I definitely don't remember, like, this Croczilla one, I don't think. I don't remember this, this, like, double feature with the take, uh, takedown and entity. I definitely don't remember that. Let's see. Red Skeleton here. Bear with me. Like I said, a lot of these Quest Star ones. I've seen, I've seen this, uh, the Curse of Buckhurt Road. I know that one's been in here before. Yeah, nothing that impressive, because, like I said, it might be all stuff that I have seen before. But I, like I said, I don't remember, or, or the problem is sometimes these stuff gets picked up through. So it might be new things, and then all like the really good things are like just kind of picked out. See, Art of the Dead, I've seen that before in here. Straight out of Oakland. So yeah, like I said, maybe it's not new stuff. It just might be all last time around. See, I think... Yeah, some of these I do remember. It's kind of a mixture of them in here. I, I know there's a couple, but no, it's nothing that impressive in here today. I, yeah, like I said, I don't know for sure if this was new or not at all, but yeah, not that great today. 
Yeah, but in case you couldn't tell, I was very impressed with the last Dollar Tree location. That was like, I feel like, you know, when people talk about like Dollar Tree, you know, you know, if you tell people they have movies in there and they're like, oh, they have movies in there and they kind of have like a weird look on their face. I feel like those movies that, 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 they, that we just saw in there were kind of like what you would kind of think that you would see. If people would kind of expect stuff like that. Because normally there's at least a couple bigger things in there, but like today at least it was 90% like not great stuff. But, you know, fingers crossed, hopefully this location has better stuff. I I feel like maybe that one did get in new stuff and got picked all the way through and that was all that was left but we shall see like i said fingers crossed hopefully this one has got some stuff but i don't know but taking a look in here though i do see some movies down here not a lot and i don't i see like one only one blu-ray <laughs> we'll go through and see if there's anything different in here at all and like hopefully there's something i know i've seen these like hawaiian ones before Lily is here. I don't know if I've seen that one in here. Brick Mason, Manson, I don't think so. Let's see, Elf on the Run, The Prince. Definitely haven't seen some of these. I, I know I haven't seen this one, Before I'm Dead. I don't know anything about this one. This one looks kind of interesting. I'll definitely put that one here. I know for sure I have not seen that though. Let's see, uh, Don't Shoot the Messenger. That's another one I've definitely not seen. Ice Princess Lily, Son of Bigfoot. It's about cats, super furball. That one, these ones have come back a million times. So those are the ones we've seen in here a lot. Uh, Dark Was the Night, that's been in here before. Let's see. I think the spatula's new. That's a, that's a new one. Let's see. Sign, the Sign of the Beaver. That here, I don't know that one. The Felix. That one we saw in the other store, that the takedown one. Your Move. Santa and Pete. Yeah, that one. James Earl Jones was. I feel like I remember that back in the day. I don't know when that one was from, though. Babe Ruth story. I think this is one. Oh, yeah, this is one I filmed something for. I don't know if I have a second copy of it or not, but I, I know I filmed something on there talking about the, the scarecrow. Let's see. Warning shot. This one I've seen a lot. This was actually pretty good, though. This uh, had David Spade in it. I, I thought it was actually a really good one. One shot. A lot of the Prince one. A Christmas star. 94 feet. Felix. Arm dead. Cat, some kind of cat and mouse game thing. Uncle Nino. Harvey. Prince. Criminal State. Let's see. Harvey. I don't know what this thing is. Teen Star Academy? Some weird thing with John Savage. Elf Day. Miss Bear. This has been in here a million times. I feel like this has been in here the last like few years. You know, that movie's just non-stop in here. Things I do for money. I've definitely not seen that one before in here. So yeah, a couple ones in here. Nothing like amazing. But like this is the only different one I don't remember and this looks kind of interesting. I think I'll get this one. Like I said, I know I filmed a thing uh, for this one though. Into the third Dollar Tree we go. Now we're going to go in and peek. Like I haven't peeked in yet. I, none of them have had the signs on the door yet. But you can see right here, this one has the lights. But we'll see where they are in here. Let's see. Usually, yeah, here's some. I see some right here. So let's see. Let's see what's in here. So th these are, it's like I said, it's a lot of these Quest Star ones. It's crazy how many of these ones are in here. I never, definitely have not seen this movie. Uh, is this another John Savage movie here? I think there's another, we saw another John Savage one. This one here, so I don't remember this thing at all. Seven children and one grandfather? I don't know any, anything about that movie. It's like some... I guess like Cheap by the Dozen type movie or something like that. It's very strange. One Runaway Christmas Bride. And then this is like some weird, what is this Jay, oh it's like a Jay Leno car thing from back in the day. So I guess he did like a early, because he had that one garage show. And I guess this is just some old show thing of him or it's like Tonight Show clips or something with, the, with cars or something. Mouse and Cat Game, Safe Harbor, Treasure Island. Like I said, look at all the, how many Quest are ones. Red Skeleton, 
uh, UFOs and aliens, agents unknown. Watch it out. The children, grandfather one. What's this one? Conversations with other women. This one I definitely have not seen. Another one from ITN. This is from like back in 2005. Is as, that as not released? 2005 one, I guess? Or it's maybe it's a... What's weird too is the um, the logo on the side, that, um, that DVD video logo like that, usually means burn on demand. So I don't know if it's a burn on demand. Is it, could it be a burn on demand one? Because see what DVDs on the side, it's usually like this or like um, DVD video, but like see that's how it would normally look, like this. So usually, not always, but you a lot, quite often when it's a DVD video that looks like that, that's not a sign of a burn on demand uh, disc. Into the fourth and final Dollar Tree we go. Like I was saying though guys, definitely has not been super impressive on the titles this time around, but we'll see, maybe we'll find something better. I see that they have the lights here in the front. This one here has always been just okay with the movies from what I can remember. They're usually either down here or down here. Let's see by the automotive stuff. They're usually somewhere around these spots. You have to really look. Let's see. Oh yeah, see this one is all of it. So this one definitely did not get any of the new ones at all. This is all just the stuff. Either the, either they got the new ones, they're already gone, but more, more than likely they probably did not put them out. And this one, like I said, every so often, there was a once or twice when I saw them on these end caps. So you always kind of want to check them just in case they some reason put them there, because I've seen that once or twice before, but it's not common in this, in, in, at least in my area, for them to do that. It was just weird how they were all of a sudden doing that a little bit and then not at all. Like I said, definitely was not super impressed this time around. I will probably check maybe like later in the week too. I don't know if I'm gonna do another video, but maybe I'll show like uh, in ne next Tuesday's video next week or something like that if I see anything else different or anything. But yeah, like I said, not all, I, I guess not all Dollar Tree <laughs> videos are that, you know, exciting. This is a weird thing. It's sort of like a, a knockoff Dunkaroo kind of thing, but with like a regular cookie instead of that Dunkaroo type cookie that's in it. But yeah, like I said, not that much stuff. I'm, like, I'm now just looking at, <laughs> looking at other things because there definitely was not many movies in this one. But anyway though guys, that's all for this Dollar Tree Dollar DVD Blu-ray hunting video. Like I said, it definitely, today's like word of the day was unimpressive. <laughs> you know, it really wasn't that impressive today. Uh, I Hopefully though, if you guys went out to any of the stores, you found better stuff. Because uh, like I said, it was just a lot of those Quest Star ones and that seems to be mainly what they were having. Uh, but the only things I ended up getting was this one, uh, Before I'm Dead. Uh, it looks slightly interesting. And then the one, like I said, that I filmed something for, this one called um, Bride of Scarecrow. Other than that, that was all that I saw, and, and this time too was the least amount of horror films. Normally you see a lot of horror films in the Dollar Tree, there was very few this time around at all, like not a lot at all. I did see someone sent me a picture though, uh, I got it about an hour ago, and they found a Restricted Area. That's a movie that me and Danny the Sinistalker are in. Uh, the beginning of the film, like the first 10 minutes of the movie, uh, we're both in that one. So if you guys see that one uh, in, in Dollar Trees, that's one of the ones that I'm in, uh, so you guys can see that one. That's one I would definitely recommend because I'm like, like I said, the first 10 minutes of that movie. So if you guys come across that one, uh, that's one of the ones that I was in. But like I said, though, let me know in the comments below, though, what you guys picked up if you ended up going to any Dollar Trees. Hopefully you guys had more luck. Anyway, though, guys, thanks again for watching subscribing. And like I always say, if you guys enjoy these Dollar Tree videos, uh, definitely give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.